Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net. Thank you for watching this channel and make sure you subscribe if you have not already. This week's question is quite a contentious one in the vegan community and it is, is honey vegan? No, honey is not vegan. And I got a lot of my information from uh, some of the websites online and some of my articles on VivaLaVegan.net. There's a great website called Vegetus.org and um, the Vegan Society UK actually have written about this as well. And there's an article on Viva La Vegan about that. And I've also shared some infographs on um, the Viva La Vegan Facebook page and our Google Plus page. So you can have a look at those if you like as well and I'll put the links down below. Now, the biggest thing um, to explain why honey is not vegan is because as vegans we choose not to exploit any animals whatsoever for any reason. And by having any animal products, including honey, this means that you're using and abusing another animal just for your own sake and stealing something of theirs to have as your own. Honey and other products that come from bees, like beeswax, propolis, royal jelly, bee pollen and venom, they're not vegan because they're a product from a bee. Donald Watson's definition of veganism in 1944 actually mentioned all the things that vegans choose to exclude, including honey. It also went through a lot of other animals and their products. So if, you're, if you are a vegan, and um, you are against exploitation of animals in all their forms, this includes bees. Just like other animals are used and abused, bees are farmed, they're manipulated, and the honey that's produced, that they produce for themselves, is stolen from them and used for us. And I'm just gonna go through the process of how um, a bee actually produces honey. To produce honey, worker bees drink nectar from flowers and they store this in their stomach. And when it's in the stomach, it's mixed with different secretions to transform it into honey. At the hive, the worker bee transfers this nectar into a house bee and this house bee drinks and um, may regurgitate and re-drink the nectar several times. And this mixes more of its own secretions into it with the nectar. And then this bee may pass it on to other bees who will make this, have this process happen again. And then the nectar is placed in the honeycomb. Each worker bee produces one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in their life. That's a tiny amount for all this work these little bees do. 4,000 flowers have to be visited to make one tablespoon of honey. They're pretty full on, they're pretty full on facts there. Queen bees often have their wings clipped, some are artificially inseminated using hooks and syringes, and they're normally killed every year so that a new queen is introduced to the hive. So you're killing a lot of these animals and damaging them and injuring them as well. Some beekeepers kill off all of their hive before winter so that the bees don't consume honey in the colder months. And the reason why they consume their honey in the colder months is because the food isn't readily available for them to go out and eat. Our bee friends are also declining and many species have become extinct. Bees are important pollinators of crop and a large amount of food production worldwide depends on their pollination. It's an important part of our ecosystem and biodiversity of our wild plants. Bees live in a complex social system and even tell each other where to find nectar by using a little wiggle dance that they do. Um, many people who are vegan but still consume bees call themselves a vegan. But don't be a vegan, be a vegan. And you can have, instead of honey and bee products, you could use agave. You could use golden syrup, you could use rice syrup and maple syrup. These are all the cruelty free alternatives so you don't need to harm any of our bee friends. Hope that answers your questions and I hope to see you next week. Take care.